Hey, hi everyone. So today we are going to talk about the error which is in Fractal Sign and is not enabled for this tenant. So for that, <clears throat> what we have to do is uh, go to the UiPath Assistant, click on the Sign In button. Let me close all these tabs. You have to continue with this. Uh, let me continue with UI path. This is just an account, you can select your account too. Now, what steps you have to take care is just give me a minute just open okay let me sign in again <laughs> you have to go to the cloud.uipath.com <laughs> click here Now, what you have to do is uh, go to the tenant, users, click here on the edit button, attendant mode, this should be automatically created, select the RPA, here you have to give your domain and username, you can find it from who am I, so this is my domain and this is the username. Then you have to click on the update button. Mm, go to the settings. Then you have to go to the security. Enable this. Allow both user authentication. Once that is done go to the UI path assistant and click on sign in mm. let's see if it got connected or not okay it is connected now you see the status is of green color and it is saying robot is connected to the orchestra Sometimes it is of orange color, it is saying that the robot is unlicensed and it is not connected. So that generally happen when uh, when the user selected something else than the RPA developer or if for example if I am selecting inherit license from users groups and update it. then just check it here the status is green okay let's wait uh, let's refresh it still the same I think I need to sign out and sign in again So if you do that, you will going to find still in progress. So you see it's now it's orange color where it is saying the uh, cannot acquire a license. So don't forget to select the particular radio button that I told you as a RPA developer. Let me show it again. Go to the users, go to the tenant, then users. Sorry. Yeah. First tenants, then users, then go to the edit here. This can be of your account. This is for like UI part tutorials, mine. Your can be anything. And then click on the RPA developer. You can select either any of one, attendant, user, or citizen. That depends. Like you should have the license for that. 
and for now I'm selecting RP developer clicking the update button let me check the once it gets let me check the robots mm, okay yeah sorry uh, let me see what is the status now okay now it, it is a green color now the robot is connected so if you want to fix this particular error, you need to do the you need to take the following steps okay if you have any doubt you can comment on my video thanks for subscribing my channel and if you have not subscribed it yet yes please do it and I'll be recording the videos weekly so next week there will be something I believe I will be going to create it on the orchestrator itself there are a few more errors that appeared I saw it in the community forum I'll try to make videos on them thanks thanks for watching have a great day